it's time to talk about tulips and what you need to know about growing them in zone 8b. Hi, I'm Jessie, and if we're just now meeting, I own Living on a Prayer Flower Farm, which is a small flower farm in zone 8b, Ruston, Louisiana, and I do this as my side hustle. I work a full-time job, have a family, and life just gets a little crazy. However, I share it all with you on this channel, so I hope you'll join me on this flower farm journey. This is actually a second part to a video I made about tulips. I'm in my third year of flower farming and I thought that this year I should make a video going from planting to what they look like mid-season to what they look like once they're starting to come out of the ground, how long that takes, and taking them to market. So if you haven't checked out that video, I'll have it at the end of this video. Be sure to check it out. So let's get into 10 things you need to know about tulips and growing them in zone 8b. If you're not in zone 8b, if you're in a colder zone, these probably won't apply to you and I'm very jealous of you. But growing tulips in such a hot zone in Louisiana takes a learning curve, if I do say so myself. Number one thing you need to know is that tulips need chill time. They need time to stay nice and cold 12 to 14 weeks below 45 degrees. We don't get that here. So what do you do instead? You get a refrigerator, a spare fridge that doesn't have any fruit or any kind of food in it, and you store those tulips. Just make sure it's big enough to hold all your tulips that you order because you uh, may get carried away and before you know it, you can't fit them in the fridge. Second thing you need to know is do not plant those tulips in November. Don't do it. When you see everybody else up north planting their tulips in October and November. That's not for you. You plant them at the, end of at the end of December and early January. Don't go further than mid January. Check out my video I talked about at the end and you will understand why we don't plant them later. But I have found in the three years I've been growing tulips that right there at the end of December, beginning of January is really the best time for us to pull those tulips out of the fridge that's been in there since October and plant them in the ground. They always do amazing for me when I plant them at the very beginning of January. November pull-up bed versus January. It's kind of obvious which ones did better. I'd like to take this time to say thank you to those of you who are supporting this farm via buymeacoffee.com. Your support helps me keep this channel going and allows me to continue to share this journey with others. If you'd like to support the farm, you can click the link below and as a thank you for supporting the farm, you'll be able to see exclusive content only for my buymeacoffee.com supporters. Thank you guys so much. Let's get back in the video. Keep it secret. Keep it secret. Tulips, tulips So Keep them secret, keep them safe from the deer. The deer are horrendous and they love tulips. You need to put either deer netting over these tulips and keep it nice and high. So if they try to still eat the tulips through the netting, they hopefully can't get to it, keep it nice and taut, or build a deer fortress to keep them out because the deer will find them and they will eat them. Other critters, if you got them, squirrels, moles, voles, all the things, everything loves tulips. So keep them secret, keep them safe, protect your investment. Number four, which I learned this year was the no-till method is definitely the way to go. It saves your back and it saves you so much pain. Past two years, I had been digging a giant trench and then laying on my belly as I planted these tulips. Doing the no-till method was so much easier and the bulbs pulled out way easier. So do no-till method. Number five, pull them at the crack of color by the bulb, wrap them up in some craft paper or some newspaper and store them horizontally in your fridge. They'll keep for about a month this way. And if you're pulling them at crack of color or for doubles, let them go a little bit longer, but not too long. And that will allow the longest vase life for your customers. Don't buy mixes. I always say I'm not gonna buy mixes and I buy mixes. Don't, don't be like me. Don't buy mixes. It's really better for you to go ahead and buy 
tulips that you know from reading the description that they're going to be a good 18 inches or longer for your cut flowers and that are dependable and you know what the crack of color should look like because you know what tulip you ordered whereas mixes it's like is that a white tulip is it supposed to be that color is this color or is this just green i, I can't tell don't buy the mixes just buy a packs of 50 or 100 of the ones you want and just buy multiples if you want to and but please don't buy mixes don't be like me do order from jake facebook group is called wholesale for the small scale grower and it is a perfect place to start buying tulips if you've never bought them before jake allows you to buy smaller quantities from a large selection and he will ship them out to you and it's very affordable or my next favorite place to order tulips is dutchgrown.com not dutchgrownbulbs.com dutchgrown.com i've ordered from adr bulbs and eh, they weren't that great i have not ordered from ball seed company but if you are just wanting to grow these for your backyard or not having a ein number for your business you can order from dutchgrown.com or jake either one will get you a great price on bulbs number eight allow at least 24 hours for your tulips to rehydrate you're going to cut them bulbs off you're going to throw them in water while they're still nice and tightly wrapped and you're going to allow them to rehydrate for 24 hours because it's going to be scary when you pull them out it's going to be scary allow them 24 hours to rehydrate and then you will be good to go number nine you may want to take off work when it's time to start pulling tulips being in the south it is so freaking hot one minute i go out to check these tulips in the morning and they're closed as can be but they're getting kind of close and when i come home from work bam they are just completely bloomed out and it's just so aggravating because you don't want them to be completely bloomed out so if you can take off work for a week or you know in the afternoons during tulip season that would be great because you're going to want to go out there every hour or so and check your tulips one minute they're not good Next thing you know, you blink and boom, bloomed out tulip. Number 10, you really should try tulip only bouquets. It's really hard to find anything greenery wise to go with these tulips. But if you pull the tulip bulb and all, keep your leaves on besides what falls below the stem, below the uh, water level, they're beautiful bouquets and people go crazy for them. So try growing just tulips for your wonderful early spring flowers and enjoy them. If you didn't see my tulips from planting to selling video, be sure to check that out here and I'll see you there.